Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball from BYU Hawaii. We will now do our first pivot table report of the 24 that we'll be working through on this worksheet. As you can see, this first pivot table report will be using the product sales data worksheet, and your goal should be to create total s a report that indicates the total sales for each category. So this should summarize the total sales by product category. So I'm going to hit Alt-Tab to go over to my uh, go over to my Excel workbook. This is what it should look like. This is the product sales data worksheet. And we're going to go up to insert pivot table. And uh, since my uh, data has been formatted correctly to include uh, titles at the top of each column, and then I have data on every single row, it's automatically selected my whole data range that goes all the way down to uh, row 287. So I will accept that. And now I have my different fields. So I want a report that shows category. And what I can do is I can drag and drop over here into the row, or I can drag and drop down here to row. Either way, um, whatever works for you. I'll just click it maybe. Um, anyway, and then we have the sales, which we want to bring into the values down below. And that's pretty much your report. Uh, you would then rename this to be AI uh, to, to match how I've labeled them uh, on my example here. And uh, we'll call this total sales by category. So AI total sales by category. And then you can uh, go ahead and do formatting and things like that. I won't take the time in here, but you can uh, format these and do other things to, to beautify this. That's it. Good job.